All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about the current Twitter beef going on between Elon Musk and AOC. Okay. And I can't lie to you guys. One of the main reasons why I'm talking about this is because it's just entertaining, right? It's very entertaining to see billionaire Elon Musk go back and forth with progressive socialist politician AOC, um, who routinely criticizes billionaires. Okay. She thinks that billionaires are a drag on our society right that billionaires should not exist because only the politicians should have control of billions of dollars billions of dollars of taxpayer money that people like aoc uh vote to send to ukraine right that is what she believes right but they want to get mad when elon musk takes his billions of dollars billions of dollars that is not taxpayer money and decides to buy twitter right so that he can preserve free speech right so with that being said uh they've gone back and forth with each other uh in their little beef on uh twitter uh and it is escalating even more as aoc uh came out in a recent interview and said that she would love to sell her tesla after elon musk teased her on twitter okay so she's basically saying what a whole lot of people on the left ha have said about uh elon musk and tesla is that because of the things he said that they're, they're gonna try to cancel tesla that they don't want to buy any more electric vehicles from him even though the guy is trying to fight against climate change even though the left claim that they they support electric vehicles but for whatever reason they don't find that to be more important they don't find saving the planet right according to them right they don't find that to be more important than the fact that elon musk is trying to buy twitter allegedly and is trying to preserve free speech right and what i find to be hilarious about what they're saying is that a lot of people are saying well if we stop buying teslas uh then tesla will be crippled right elon musk uh company will fold because maga okay conservatives can't afford teslas right they can't afford it they're broke right they're all poor and i'm like no 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 do, do you guys realize that the same people that you're, you're talking about are the same people that will literally pull up in a fleet a very 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 expensive boat right with MAGA flags and American flags and gas and flags and all types of things paraphernalia that triggers people on the left right again this idea that conservatives and MAGA is is broke right they don't have any money in this country I think it really kind of blows my mind okay I, I think uh they can definitely afford Teslas and cyber trucks uh if there is interest in electric vehicles right if they want to buy an electric vehicle I feel like conservatives can definitely afford that, right? Uh, but with that being said, I want to catch you guys up on, you know, the beef going on between Elon Musk and AOC and some of the things that have been said in the past that have led up to AOC's statement right here that we're going to talk about in more detail in a little bit. So without further ado, go, go ahead and roll the news clip. Well, Elon Musk and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez are still in a bickering battle, it seems. The progressive activist has now decided that she's going to sell her Tesla after the company's owner, Elon, made fun of her. She was interviewed with Bloomberg News this week, where she spoke about the Model 3 Tesla she purchased in 2020. AOC said it was the only electric vehicle that could get me from New York to Washington on like one or one and a half charges, but stating that now she would love to switch to an electric vehicle made by unionized workers. She brushed off what Elon would think. He's a billionaire. I could care less what he thinks. The comments come a month after the two had an awkward exchange on Twitter. AOC tweeted, Tired of having to collectively stress about what explosion of hate crimes is happening because some billionaire with an ego problem unilaterally controls a massive communication platform and skews it because Tucker Carlson or Peter Thiel took him to dinner and made him feel special. To which Elon replied, stop hitting on me, I'm really shy. AOC hit back, I was talking about Zuckerberg, but okay, which she later deleted. Elon Musk responded to AOC's interview in Bloomberg by tweeting, the use of the word billionaire as a pejorative is morally wrong and dumb. He then put up a poll as another jab to AOC, writing, who do you trust less? Real question, politicians or billionaires? Tagging the congresswoman and writing, I dare you to run the same poll with your followers. Many insightful comments in the mentions, Elon writes. A few social media users commented their thoughts. One person wrote, Billionaires tend to make things I use, things I buy, media I consume and enjoy. Politicians, well, they make less of those. Another person wrote, I trust people on a personal to personal level, not by blanket statements about a big group. 
Finally, I'd rather trust how billionaires spend their money rather than how politicians spend the taxpayers' money. Because whatever innovations that have enabled life to be better for humanity have been created by a billionaire. Name one instance where a politician has made life better. Yeah, so AOC, again, came out and basically said, hey, I would love to sell my Tesla and buy an electric vehicle from a unionized uh, factory, right? And I'm like, okay, well, you know, good luck with that. <laughs> You're going to pay an arm and a leg for it. But hey, socialists like her can't afford it. But what AOC doesn't realize is that it is because of billionaires that she can even purchase a Tesla, right? Or an electric vehicle or whatever, right? Uh, billionaires make that happen, okay? Um, and that is something that she doesn't realize despite allegedly being a double major in economics and international relations. I don't understand how AOC is so against billionaires and capitalism, but yet all of the things that she wants for the world requires capitalism, right? In order to solve global warming, right? Or, or climate change, whatever you want to call it, uh, capitalism is going to have to solve that, right? Like it ain't going to be the government. It's ultimately going to be capitalism. Okay. Uh, but she doesn't realize that she, do she doesn't understand that for, for whatever reason. Right. Uh, but with that being said, uh, Elon Musk uh, ran this poll in response to AOC basically taking a shot at him and, and telling her followers essentially to sell their Teslas or to, you know, not buy from Tesla. They're trying to cancel Tesla. He says, who do you trust less? Real question. Politicians or billionaires? And this poll, it turned out that the people, at least Elon Musk's followers here, 3.3 uh, million uh, votes, 3.4 million votes, 75% uh, of people trust politicians less okay and that is no surprise to me because essentially at the end of the day i mean politicians most of them are empty suits right i don't trust 99.999 percent of politicians they are actors okay uh they simply say what they think they want people to hear them say right they're simply trying to get your vote they're simply trying to maintain power and they can easily be bought and sold by the billionaires right so obviously i trust the politicians less than the billionaires because the billionaires control the politicians right at the end of the day so elon musk actually asked aoc to run the same poll with her followers to see if there would be different results right and we're going to actually come back to this and get into this a little bit later in the video as basically aoc gets embarrassed <laughs> accidentally but we're going to talk about that in a little bit Okay, I want to read the comments first, okay? Bridget Gabriel says, I trust you, but I sure as hell don't trust uh, Bill Gates. Elon Musk says, since Gates still has a multi-billion dollar short position against Tesla while claiming to help with global warming, I guess I have some trust issues with him too. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. I mean, Elon Musk really don't like Bill Gates, right? He really don't like Bill Gates. Uh, Lou Dobbs says, there's you, then there's Gates, Bezos, Bloomberg, Schultz, Steimer, uh, Benoff, uh, pictures, Walton Soros, and you see my quandary. Yeah, so I mean, the point that he's bringing up here is actually a valid point. It's like, well, you shouldn't really generalize, right? Because there are a lot of billionaires that conservatives don't like. Again, particularly people like uh, George Soros, right? Uh, who uses his billions to fund uh, left wing politicians and uh, crime and destruction in our cities by uh, helping these progressive DAs uh, and prosecutors get elected. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you, you really shouldn't generalize with these type of polls because, again, not all billionaires are good. OK, just like not all politicians are bad. I know some of the people you mentioned and I think they're good. But for sure, not all billionaires are good since we're dealing with humans after all. Uh, Andy uh, Milanakis says, I trust people on a personal to person level, not by blanket statements about a big group. Elon Musk is fair. Nina Turner says, trick question, the politicians are bought and work for the rich. They're synonymous. The politicians bail out and subsidize billionaires like you while they get nothing. Uh, you get billions in their tax dollars for space sets while they can't afford to go to the doctor. Shu on head says, no both option. Politicians are mostly puppets for billionaires and big institutions run by billionaires anyways. Jenna Ellis says, billionaires spend their uh, own money. Politicians spend mine yeah that's true um i think that again generally i think what elon musk was getting at here is regards to who do you trust more uh just you know generally okay and when it comes to that i, I would say i would trust the billionaire more and the reason why is because they actually do things that are productive for society they actually help improve people's quality of life uh, through innovation okay i'm not necessarily sure if i can say the same for, for politicians okay because a lot of these politicians 
again, are just slime balls, right? They don't really do anything productive for society, okay? They're basically in it to benefit themselves. So that being said, we can agree that, hey, you know what? Maybe this poll is not necessarily the best poll to run because it kind of is too general, right? Uh, so it would be much more entertaining and insightful to see if the people trust a specific billionaire more versus a specific politician more, right? And what better poll to run than a poll that would see if people trust Elon Musk versus AOC more because those are the people that are actually involved in this conversation, right? And with that being said, uh, we got just that, okay? From a leftist, Mr. David Wiseman, who had a problem with Elon Musk's poll, right? And decided to run a poll himself in which he asked people, who do you trust more, Elon Musk or AOC? And this epically backfired on him and he ended up actually embarrassing uh, his hero, AOC, as 81.2% said they support Elon Musk more than AOC, right? AOC only got 18.8%. So I want y'all to understand how unpopular politicians are. Even a leftist running a poll that should be skewed in the favor of AOC, okay? Again, their lord and savior, uh, his own followers were like, hey, you know what? I think I trust Elon Musk more than I trust AOC, <laughs> right? Oh my God, again, this is embarrassing for AOC, right? This is very, very, very embarrassing for AOC, okay? This poll should have went in favor of AOC, but for whatever reason, it didn't. Let's uh, actually uh, read <laughs> the comments here because these, some of these comments are actually hilarious. Uh, David Wiseman says, not sure how this poll flipped, but I won't delete it and I will take the L. Yeah, you take that L. Uh, Elon Musk said, at first, I thought this was a parody. David Wiseman responded, I thought you were one as well, but well played. <laughs> uh, okay, laughing emojis. Some people are claiming that this is being skewed by the Twitter algorithm. I don't believe that. Kevin uh, Fabias says, in a capitalist society, the billionaires, for the most part, have to create value for them to become billionaires. There is usually uh, some sort of efficiency or innovation that all of society benefits from, which leftists tend to ignore. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, Audrey Newman says, people will choose a man over a woman every day of the week. <laughs> right? So they're blaming sexism. Right? They're saying it's, it's sexism. <laughs> One person said, WTF, I clicked on AOC and it gave my vote to Musk and it won't let me undo it. <laughs> a poll between a guy who turned the tie in electrifying the world versus a bartender who doesn't know what a garbage proposal uh, is. <laughs> Seems like a loss before it began. You mean that bartender who has a double major in economics and international relations? Yeah, that doesn't seem to really be helping her much at all especially with her job she doesn't seem to know anything about economics can someone make an argument as to why you believe aoc is more trustworthy than elon musk oh man aoc's opinions are mostly fact-based i can't say the same for elon yeah, i don't know about that the fact that elon has more votes is scary the fact that you think it's scary is scary in 500 years elon musk's name will be remembered on two planets aoc will just be three letters <laughs> in the alphabet <laughs> <laughs> bruh oh my god i gotta retweet that that is hilarious that is absolutely hilarious wow how can you possibly think it would be the other way around my god i know you switch sides but come back to the middle and look what's happening around you both extremes are a disaster david wiseman says uh my views are a bit centered from aoc but i certainly trust her more than elon musk again this guy was a former republican okay uh a former trump supporter who uh, basically started to get on the grift of, you know, rooting for the Democrat Party and, you know, being liberal and a never Trumper and all that other stuff. And he's sitting here claiming that AOC is more trustworthy than Elon Musk. Again, a guy who has actually uh, been a positive contributor <laughs> to our society and have made people's lives better. I mean, the guy was fighting electromagnetic warfare in space with Russia, okay? He is literally providing Ukraine with internet communications, okay, as we speak, doing a war with Russia. But again, for whatever reason, leftists hate this guy. Even though the dude clearly is probably more aligned with them on certain policies, okay, and, and issues, than he is with conservatives and on the right. But they don't like the guy because he's a billionaire and because he believes in free speech. It, it really blows my mind, uh, the backlash that, Elon Musk has taken from these guys. But hey, uh, again, I just found that poll to be hilarious uh, how a leftist ran a poll <laughs> that backfired on AOC, right? Uh, again, it just shows you how much people just don't really like politicians. 
uh, and how much they don't trust them. And they would much rather trust billionaires, even if, you know, some billionaires are bad. They'd much rather trust billionaires than politicians. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.